Are you going to a holiday party soon and you would like to have a fabulous nude lip combo to help you stand out? That is what I like. I like to dress up, but I like to keep my hair at kind of like a natural style, something I would wear all the time. Think kind of like Carrie Bradshaw or something like that. Kate Moss. I like that undone effortless look in my makeup and my hair and then pair it with a fabulous dress, a fabulous pair of shoes, simple but statement jewelry and bag. So that's what we're going to do today. So I'm going to start off from the lightest and go to the darkest. All of these can be found at Walmart and I've got a pile of lip products here. Now my lip products are kind of like my clothes and my home decor and everything else. When you buy things that you like and that are true to your style, you will be able to mix and match and come up with all kinds of different combinations. And that's what I do. I do. I'm going to start off with the lightest lip liner and this is the NYX Natural. So this is just going to give us a natural extended lip line. I would say these lip liners, the NYX, are for someone that doesn't love lip liner. They're not going to be stark. They're not going to last forever, but they do create a nice frame. So if you're nervous, start off with one of these. See how it's just giving me a very natural lip line. And I like to line my lips from the outside in. I think if you do from the inside out, it's just natural to kind of go down and it just doesn't give you as round and as full of a lip. And I go on the very edge of my lip line like that. My mom does her lips like this too. That's where I got it from. And then I always kind of like rub my lips in like I went too far there. So that gives you a nice and I like kind of a worn in look. I don't want to look like I'm trying to be too perfect. A lot of times I prefer to go to a party with makeup that I've had on for a few hours and then just touch it up. So I'm gonna Start with a light peach. This is the Wet n Wild, I think it's called, yes, Peach Passion. It's very pretty, very glossy. And because of the consistency, you really don't need a gloss with this one. It's very glossy. I think if you did try to put a gloss over this, it would not be good. It would just kind of go everywhere. But that is a fabulous, fabulous peachy nude lip that I think just looks great with a holiday look. Okay, this is another thing. I don't usually remove my lip combos. If I want to move on to something else, I will just kind of blot my lips. But for today, I am gonna use the Garnier Micellar Water. And remove that. Dry off my lips. And then I'm going to take this Eco Tool sponge and kind of go over them like that. And that gives you more of a clean slate. Okay, so the second combo that we're going to do is going to be a little bit, still going to be light, but it's going to be more dramatic. So in this one, I went to Walmart last night to try to get new everything so it would look pretty, but these were out. So you might want to order in case your store is out, but these L'Oreal matte lip liners are amazing. They are as good as any, better than any high end. I love them. So Matster Mind is a good go-to for just any color. I think you can go peach, you can go brownie nude, you can just go anywhere with this. So let's start with this. It's gonna be a little bit more pinky. It's 
See how easy it went on compared to the NYX? These are just, they're good. Okay, and the lip I'm gonna use if you want a light. I've actually got two of them. Have I got two or three? Where's my other one? Yeah, I have three. These three are great if you want a light, light, old school, like we did when we first started YouTube, lip combo. This one is gonna be your most, your lightest, and that is the cat suit in Caught You Bare Naked. This is a really good one. It's the Loyalist from Maybelline, and then this is a beautiful NYX. This is Milky Gloss in Milk and Honey. So I think I'm gonna use the Milk and Honey because I think it is the most mainstream Okay, and like all of my lip combos, they have to wear in a little bit. There you go. So take your finger and just kind of work that gloss into the liner. And it's gonna give you this, oh, I love it. I love it. And each one of these, I am taking a photo on my phone so you can see in different lighting, but that, that is a good one and it will just get better and better and better as the night goes on. Okay, while I'm waiting, I was thinking I wanted to let that one kind of blend in a little bit. I wanted to show you some things that I picked up last night. Will and I went to Walmart and it's different now. Will just got a few things just because I think he was with me, but Brooke now, she appreciates toilet paper, paper towels, anything like that. So they had all of their gift sets out and I was gonna just show you a few that I picked up. I thought this one was really good. So these will be great as gifts or stocking stuffers or for yourself. But this is the Dr. Teal's Aromatherapy Wellness Candle Trio. I guess I'm gonna give this to her. I might have to get another one for me. But it's the Lavender Chamomile and Sandalwood. Doesn't that sound amazing? That's the candle for that one. Eucalyptus, citrus, and spearmint, orange, sage, and bergamot. Uh, awaken the senses, up, uplifts the mood, relaxes and calms the mind, helps promote a better sleep night. Ooh, okay, yeah, we might have to get another one of these. And then I grabbed her this little razor type thing. Now that she's not here grabbing mine, I just grabbed that to give to her. And then Will got this, I don't know, you know, if you guys are into the Marvel, John and Will go see those movies or are into the Marvel movies and shows and everything. So we grabbed this. He was out of his normal that I'm gonna show you. And he used it last night and he said he liked it. He used the shampoo and conditioner and the body wash. I don't know if he used the deodorant. He took everything out of here. So I think he did. And then I went ahead and just got this because this is his typical go-to and it smells so good, you guys. When I, my thinking when I started him on this, he was younger, he didn't care how he smelled, but when a teacher comes around my child, I want them to smell good, I want them to have clean teeth, be clean, and I want teachers to want to be around my children. That's how I always thought. So I loved that he smelled so good, and he really likes that um, body wash and all of that stuff. So. It's kind of like, this is funny, but it's kind of like his signature scent. He always smells so good. So I grabbed those. Now let's look at this. See how that lip combo's already worked in? Oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. I don't know which one I'm gonna wear today. Okay, so let's take this one off and then go on to the next. We're gonna get a little bit darker this time. Okay, and I'm gonna go over, and I recommend you doing this too. If you are, if you take off a lip combo to put on another one, Everything goes on better if you put, we'll put a little bit of the just residual makeup on your lips. It helps your lip liner be more true. Okay, so the next one we're gonna do, let's see, I've got so many good ones here. I know a lot of people really love this, the Infallible Petal. I love these, and I also love these, the Revlon Ultra HD, those are good too. And okay, I don't want to go too dark. So let's do the Color Riche Matte. And this one is in 
mattes it. The other one was matte stermine, and you can see it was kind of a light to mid-tone pink. This is going to be your more neutral, kind of like if you like Mac Oak, Spice, um, you know, things like that. I think this is my favorite. It used to be Matt's Remind, but I think it's Matt's It now. Okay, so there goes our lip line. I know a lot of people say to fill in with this, but I just don't like that. If you like the whole Naomi Campbell 90s look like I do, I, you could fill in a little bit on the sides. Sometimes I do that, but I actually, I like the lip liner. I did notice that they still had some peach shine from L'Oreal on the Walmart. It's just companies that still have it. But okay, first let's do a little bit of Apricot Fantasy from Revlon. Oh, that's a good one. I don't even know if you need the petal, but the petal, see that is kind of like a metallic. So the petal will give it some oomph. Yes. Okay, that is for the true light nude lover. We might do more than I thought because this is so good. I'm having fun. Okay, let me go take a picture of this to put in here so you can see it in the natural sunlight. Okay, that might be my favorite. I love it. Okay, I was just comparing this one to the last one. This is gonna be more of your shimmery light nude. The last one is gonna be more of a milky light nude. If you're a nude lip lover, you know what I mean. So I think this one. That is just hard to beat. You've got to get Matt's It and Matt's Mind. You've just got to. I hate to take that off. There are two more lip liners that are must-haves. And I think you probably know what they are. The next one is, oh goodness. Okay, I'm gonna go with two more tried and true. So the next one is Magnetic Mauve. If you watched my pink lip video, I will link it up here. This is the lip liner that I used. When Brooke saw my pictures on Instagram, she came and got the whole con combo from me. And so I went and bought another one of the Magnetic Mauve. So this is the roll up. This is a good, good lip liner. The shade and the consistency and the way it lasts. Okay, if you want to go with a safer, not quite as nude look, then I would go for something maybe like this. This is the matte lip. Okay, let's go ahead and just do this and I can always blot it and then do something else. So this is the matte lip in uh, HD Forever. And it's kind of like that whipped consistency. This smells good too, it smells like candy. Go over the liner. So that is gonna give you more of that nudie. Oh, I like that. This one is gonna look really good in photos. It's just gonna give you, like no one's gonna notice. Oh, you know, it's just gonna look good. Your whole appearance is gonna look good. I really like that. So that was the Magnetic Mauve and I think it's HD forever in this gloss. Let me go take a picture in the sunlight. Yes, yeah, so that is definitely 
I love, okay, let's just go from here. I'm gonna take the Wet n Wild. Look at that, I, oh, my lipsticks always have like something else on them. I'm gonna take this Wet n Wild Peach Passion, yeah, Peach Passion. And go over it and give it that gloss. Mm. See, once you get, I'll list all of these that I'm using and then you can get them and kind of mix them and match them to your taste. But I just think that is a gorgeous, gorgeous nude lip. Okay, this might have to be the last one. My lips are, you know, turning a different color from getting stained. Oh, that helped pretty good, okay. The last one I think everyone needs for a fabulous nude lip combo to stand out at any party, and that is Totally Toffee. I think it's a must have. I got a new one last night. This could be, if you just had one lip liner, this could be it. Goes with everything. There's your Totally Toffee. And we can go a couple different directions. I just really think everyone needs this Maybelline Lifter Gloss in Moon. And then this is the Sugar High Butter Gloss from NYX. So let's do this one first. It's a nice kind of like that creamy, nude, tan color. I'll be honest with you guys. What I usually do is I put on a lip combo like that and then I go to the bathroom, I blot it and I put a little bit more on. So hold on. It seems like there is always one of these in my potty because I usually put it on, blot it like this and then put it on again. Not as heavy. and then that will last. Okay, I just blotted that off. I'm gonna keep that same, let's do the toffee again. Just touch it up a little bit. But see, you should not have to take your lip liner in your purse. It'll stay after you eat, it'll still be there. You'll have your gloss. You'll just pull out your gloss when you're in the bathroom and this is the This is a high-end gloss at the drugstore at Walmart because it feels so good, smells good, and it's beautiful. There you go. Hard to beat that one. Okay, which one is your favorite? I think I'm gonna end with this. I just love it. I love lipstick. I think lip liner might be one of my most exciting makeup finds. Like when I find a good lip liner, it just opens so many doors with different lipsticks. So I think you need the two L'Oreal, you need the two Maybelline. The NYX, they're not my favorite. They're for someone, and also the Milani, like the Milani Nude is a great color. This is a good one for someone who just wants a light lip liner, doesn't really necessarily want it to last. But, and then this is one that a lot of people like that I picked up, it's called Nude Truffle. This one is a good one to do a shadow, but it's, it's just not as good as the other two. So I hope you guys saw something that you liked and if you would like to see my dress and some more party dresses from Walmart, I'm going to do that video next. So I'll see you then. Bye-bye.